Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Ocelargist deck profile for post-illusionless strife. Big thanks to my buddy Donnie for letting me borrow his Ocelargist deck for the video. This is the starter deck for Dark States, focusing on soul buildup and the use of the energy generator. With the new card support we got from Illusionless Strife, we can also make use of this card with its recycle power, with the new grade one being able to put back grade threes for us to continue with the grade three search and persona ride power that the deck is meant to use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the ride deck, we obviously have the energy generator with our starter being Clock Hands Draco Kid. Our grade one is featuring Bouncer when wrote upon by Steam Trimmer Nebuchador. You can soul charge two, choose one of your vanguards and it gets plus 5,000 till end of turn. And you know, during your turn on rear guard, if you have a great three or great vanguard with Osologist in its name, it gets plus 5,000. So being able to make use of this rear guard effect because we do have an ability with our vanguard to be able to call cards out from our soul. So there's always a chance we could call out this grade one. Our grade two is Steam Trimmer, Nepukador. When wrote upon by a grade three card with Ocelargist and its card name, if your soul has four more cards, draw a card. And on the guard circle, if you have a grade three or grade vanguard with Ocelargist and its card name, it gets plus 10,000 shields. So once again, it could pop up as a scenario since we could call this card out also and then intercept with it, with our grade three being Cruel Beast, Demonic Lord, Ocelargist. Along with the copy we are running in the ride deck, we also run three additional copies in the main deck as well. With the vanguard ability of one per turn being able to counter blast one search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as this unit reveal it put into your hand and shuffle the deck and this unit gets plus 10,000 till end of turn so just more of a power buildup on top of that and on the vanguard circle when this unit attacks a vanguard you can energy blast four choose a grade three or less card from your soul call it to rear guard and it gets plus 10,000 till end of turn you use the energy blast four to pay that cost so you really don't use up much of your soul for anything else in this deck so the main use of this card is just to use the energy blast while building up your soul more and more for other cards Card abilities. One of those card abilities being our other grade three, Steam Artist Tilligan, which we're also running four copies of. When this unit is put into the soul from rear guard, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with a solar guest and its card name, soul blast two cards with different card names from this card and draw a card. So just more build up as well for your soul. And on rear guard, when this unit attacks, you can soul blast one. This unit gets plus five to end of battle. If a grade three or greater card with a solar guest and its card name with soul blast, it gets plus 15 instead of plus five. So more of an option for being able to to use the play style with this card and also that setup that you can do on top of some of your other cards that you use in the deck also for that added pressure. For the grade twos, running four copies of Steam Gunner Tizcar. When put on guard circle from hand or discarded from hand while riding from the ride deck, you can counter blast one or energy blast three and draw a card. And when it's placed on rear guard, if you persona row this turn, counter blast one or energy blast three, you may soul charge one until the end of the turn. This unit gets boost and plus 5,000 power, being a potential grade two to just be able to move back and then have a boost option with some of our better grade threes or other grade twos that can attack. It's definitely a great setup as well and a definite four of to make use of the play style of the deck anyway, which is to energy blast many of our other different cards we use also. For some of the other grade twos in the deck, also running the four copies of Selfish Engraver, just more of a friendly budget option. We did have the new uh, card from Illusionless uh, Strife, if you wanted to replace this card, and that triple rare option for this card. But on rear guard, when this unit attack hits, you can soul charge one, giving you more setup, and also with that card, being able to give you counter charge power if you have more than 10 cards in your soul, which doesn't come up as often, but still a viable option if need be for a rear guard pressure at the end of the battle this unit attack if your soul has 10 or more cards. And also four copies to finish off our grade twos of Full Pigment Dragon. On rear guard, when this unit attacks, if you have a grade three or grade vanguard with Ocellar Gist and its card name, soul counter boss one, put another front row rear guard into the soul and draw a card. So just more draw power. And this is the card that will make use of putting your Tilligan back into the soul also. Having the Ocellar Gist ability to then use this card, putting it into the soul, and then giving us our Soul Blast two card with different names to give us draw power to use with Steam Artist Tilligan also. So definite four of because it's very vital for that setup to be able to use with our cards to begin with. For the grade ones, we're running four copies of the new Steam Performer Tudia on rear guard at the end of the battle. This unit boosted. If your unit was placed on rear guard from soul this turn, retire this unit. Choose a grade three or grade card with Hoselagus and its card name from your soul. 
and or drop put it on the bottom of the deck if you chose a card choose one of any player's rear guards and put it into the soul so being able to also disrupt your opponent's plays by putting a card into soul is immensely powerful with this card and that setup but also the big play with this card is to be able to recycle your or seller gifts grade three is to be able to search them out again with the counter blast power of our vanguard to begin with and then just be able to search them out continuously each turn as long as we have these grade ones to be able to do so I also run three copies of Steam Battler Gungram. More soul buildup, but also just the Soul Blast 3 power to draw a card once per turn as well. So very, very useful for that setup. And also the three copies of our Avid Heaper with this card being more of a setup of when this unit boosts a grade two or greater Vanguard. You are not Vanguard, just a grade two or greater. So it doesn't even have to boost a Vanguard. You may Soul Charge one. So just more soul build up because the biggest thing is having cards that are viable to be able to call out from the soul with our Ocelagus. So having a grade one to provide that boost for just more soul charge power definitely does come in handy. And it can also be used to build up some of the strengths of our other grade twos in in the deck like our selfish engravers more than 10 cards in soul ability and i also run the one copy of purple jeweled beasts amethyst when placed on rear guard or put on the guard circle you put a total of two cards from your solar drop that were in the ride deck into the ride deck face up and perform either the following you can counter charge one which definitely does come in handy with the counter blast power that we do make use of with ocelagus and it's grade three searching if we're going to do more grade three searching we want to have cards like this and selfish engraver to at least be able to give us our counter charge power to be able to continue to do so or just having the plus 15k shield when it's placed on the guard circle. And then for the rest of the grade ones, the one copy of Elementaria Sanctitude and the three copies of Ridicule Disruptor, just for added setup for our better Sentinels to use. And then when going up against the triple drive decks in the form of Elementaria Sanctitude. And for the trigger lineup, ideally we would want to run four copies of Stem Deviate Dragon. We just have the one and then the uh, three connected Rampage Clen. And the four copies of Direful Doll Bethany for the eight trigger critical lineup. Just added pressure on top of our Vanguard and then the bigger numbers that Tilligan can also get on the rear guard for when it attacks. The three draw triggers, these could be the ability one, but we're just going with the ones for the deck as well for the spot, Advanced Clock Dragon. And for the heals, the four copies of Joyful Songstar, just the non-ability ones so we can stick more to the confidence of the 15k guard and not needing any other specifications of what our opponent may guard with. And lastly, the one copy of Hades Dragon Deity, Gamalga Held, for early pressure of revealing this over trigger and then having your Vanguard be at a plus 10k and extra critical is always immense pressure when going up against your opponent. And as I said, the earlier you get this, the more of a difficult fight they're going to have when going up against your Vanguard also. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, big thanks to my buddy Donnie for letting me borrow the deck for the video. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.